so I noticed a problem in my destructible objects like these barrels or these generators if I leave them above the ground like this let me simulate you see they are falling down and breaking apart so it's like let me now keep it in the ground and play so now if I it's not moving so these are like see so it's like uh, the objects are always simulating physics which is not good for performance and also not exactly the way I need them to be so because I should be able to place them uh, maybe in anchor surfaces or whatever and I only need them to be like explosive objects and destructive or table objects rather than physics objects so um, to resolve this problem let me get started with this base this explosive barrel is the parent of all these other destructible objects such as this generator and the trap light we have already implemented so what i'm planning to do is i actually tried various methods for example let me move my character here for to test easily without getting interviewed by other ai characters so here if i Disable simulate physics and compile. Still, this is going to fall. Oh, it's not. Yeah, yeah, this is the problem. It's not falling, but I can go through that, which is not the way I want it to be. And also, I don't think shooting will work. See? Now the it doesn't respond to collisions at all and line traces. So it seems not practical to just have only the geometric cache as the main object. So I think I will have to add a static mesh also. So for the barrel let me add the barrel static mesh to the blueprint I'll name it SM object and this is overlapping with each other perfectly because they are the same object with the same materials and everything what's the use of this one nothing so let's remove it and now you might notice another problem oh no now it i can shoot it But we don't see the destructible object. So if I keep the physics enabled, here is physics. still plain why it doesn't change okay if I keep the physics enabled 
and play now you see the barrel is kind of trapped it's trying to move away from the other barrel but because of the collision it's stuck anyway the destruction happens so what i am planning to do is i'm gonna initial disable simulate physics and also disable the visibility and then when it needs to explode that means here so here um we can yeah in this destruct mesh part before doing this let's first uh, set visibility of this gc object and then let's hide the same object And then um, let's set simulate physics in the GC object. let's see what happens now and doesn't fall down all right that works error reported what are the errors no physics body What does that mean? But regardless of that, uh, it works. Or oh, maybe we don't need this part. Let's see. Oh, we do. Without physics, it doesn't fall apart. All right. Then why does it say it doesn't have a physics body? Oh, one more thing. We should disable collisions for this SM object. Set collisions enabled, no collision. Uh, let's see, let's set collision enabled Korean physics before we attempt to simulate just to test. Still get the error. Warning, not an error. Warning. Uh, let me remove both these and disable this tick. Oh, 
This time no error. I <laughs> I didn't even do anything other than make it visible. So right, maybe when I make it visible, things are reset to the and start simulating or something is happening. I'm not really sure what's happening internally. But anyway, this works. So I'm gonna keep it that way. Alright. So uh, one more thing. Since this is initially invisible, I think it would be better if I keep it as a child object of the same object. Otherwise, it would be hard for me to move. When I move it, it could be somewhere else. Alright, now let's see. Wait. Something odd. That's fine. Right. Uh, now let's check the other objects, which is oh, all ah, right. We don't see the trap light and trap generator. We only see the barrel. The reason is we have the GC object generator, but uh, for the barrel, we need to have the generator in, in place of the barrel for the static mesh right and same for trap light too one more thing this is a bit problematic we had to do the same thing we did for this part to get the collision stunk uh, right for this but uh, yeah, let's first test and see if the generator working properly right it does and even if I keep it floating it should work without any issue yeah. alright not that I intend to keep them floating just for testing the physics simulation mm, for the trap light Let's see. Generator light is here. Okay, we have the same object. Let me move the generator light as a child of uh, the geometric collection as a child of the generator light. But there is some mismatch as I can see. Not really sure what caused it. Right, anyway. Um, here also I'll disable the tick and make it not visible <coughs> oh. 
also I think I'm using this for satellite emission actually here now I have to use the generator light I'll use the prefix SM because that's a static mesh Fading is fine Yeah, when it explodes we have to do the same treatment we did for the barrel which is hide the SM and make it no collision and make the GC visible geometric collection visible let me copy that Right, GC visible SM invisible no collision. Okay, now let's test with the trap light. Right, now we see the blinking lights. Wait, it kind of... What happened there? It was sort of destroyed already. What is that? Um, tick is disabled. Visibility is turned off. What else we did? Nothing in particular. This is working. Oh, now that is also working. Maybe yeah, it seems fine now. Okay, it looks fine. All right, so that's it. I'm going to stop this episode right here. So everything is working as in the intended. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available here for the download. In the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.